Welcome to Lesson 9 in Unit 20, What Energy Does. Students will answer the question, how can we design a machine to solve a problem? In the previous lesson, students learned how simple machines can be used to solve problems. In this lesson, students will learn about inventions of Laudner Phillips through a series of fictional and nonfiction stories. Students will discuss how his machines combine simple machines and energy transfer to do work. Students will combine energy transfer and simple machines to design a machine of their own to solve a problem. In the Engage portion of this lesson, you will read aloud from the book Papa's Mechanical Fish. As you read the book, display the different sketches of his designs. Use the sketches to ask students, what energy transfer is he using to make the fish move? What simple machines do you see in his design? What task was he building this fish for? A read aloud guide can be found on teacher page 42. After reading the book to the class, prepare students to listen as you read the page at the end of the book called It's Almost True. Students will need student page 36 for the discussion at the end of the book. Then watch the video Monumental Mysteries Mystery Submarine clip from the Travel Channel. Now students will have three versions of the story to compare and contrast. The picture book, the biographical page, and the video clip. Ask students, which one is most scientific? Which one is the most interesting? Are they all equally true? Why do you think the author wrote two versions of the same story? How are submarines useful? What problems did submarines solve? In the explain portion of this lesson, ask students, what does it take to design and build a machine as complex as a submarine? Does it usually work the first time? Students will review the steps of student page 36. Get out the materials from all previous lessons and any other materials you want to supply, such as empty tape rolls, empty thread rolls, empty ribbon rolls, straws, masking tape, and cardboard. Ask students to think of a problem that they could solve by creating a machine out of these materials. If groups struggle with figuring out a problem, refer them back to the challenge where they had to build a ramp to roll a ball closest to the cup. Use this example as a starting point of the discussion. Ask them, what did you do in that ramp challenge? How could that machine solve a problem? They might respond that it could be used to get objects close to a location, like getting your laundry closer to the laundry hamper or to carry your book bag closer to the car. Tell students, now you will get a chance to design a machine just like Laudner Phillips. Your mission is to create a machine that uses at least two of the simple machines and two energy transfers to solve a problem. You can only start the first simple machine. After that, you cannot touch the machine once it has been started. Hand out and discuss the project rubric on student page 37 and 38. Put students into six groups and ask them to plan, discuss, and sketch. Do not give them the materials until they have some ideas on paper first. In the elaborate portion of this lesson, give students time to test their machine. Allow for changes in their design. Allow teams to travel around to different groups to see the machines each group built. As groups explain their machines, the problem, the simple machines used, and energy transfer should be clear. In the evaluate portion of this lesson, have students review the rubric after presentations are done and do a self-evaluation. Then, conference with each team to share your own evaluations. During team conferences, other students could be doing one of the optional extend activities for this lesson. Here are some ideas to extend this lesson with two additional writing prompts. By the end of this lesson, students will combine energy transfer and simple machines to design a machine to solve a problem. This lesson completes the unit with students combining the ideas of energy transfer and simple machines to solve a problem. Students will revisit energy transfer in later years and apply mathematical calculations to determine how speed, position, and mass affect the energy of an object.